Hello, this is Oliver from the Brave Souls team. Today, I will be introducing three characters from the 9th Anniversary Celebration Summons, which will be releasing on the 20th of June. The first character in this summons is Ichigo. Ichigo is a power attribute character with Hollow Killer. His soul trait can be strengthened to team slash party, increase strong attack damage plus 20%. He is a melee, strong attack type character whose attacks can all inflict weaken. His innate skills are Sprint plus 3, Long Stride and Complete Status Immunity. Here's a list with the rest of his skills. Now, let's see this character in action. Since he can inflict weaken with all of his attacks, learning the skill Increased Status Ailment Chance against Hollows will allow him to inflict status ailments with ease, which will in turn increase his damage output thanks to his skills, status ailment spiritual pressure boost 100% and damage to weakened enemies 40%. Also, he has the skills Increase Strong Attack Damage 50%, Frenzy plus 2 and the new Soul Trait Team Slash Party Increase Strong Attack Damage plus 20%. This means that not only will he deal great damage by himself, but his team will also inflict greater damage when he is taken on quests. Plus, using him as a character link will also increase the strong attack damage of your Team Slash Party by 20%. As well as this, he will be able to move fast in quest thanks to his innate skills, Sprint plus 3 and Long Stride. Finally, you won't have to worry about quests with status ailment traps or enemies that can guard or hide thanks to his innate skill, complete status immunity and his skills, Marauder and Hit Hidden Enemies. Next, let's look more closely at his attacks. Here are the normal attacks. His normal attacks are a string of 4 melee attacks. Now for the strong attacks. Strong attack 1 deals damage straight ahead. Here is the second strong attack. The second strong attack surrounds the character and attacks forward to then inflict further damage by surrounding the character once more. Here is the third strong attack. This attack goes full screen. Finally, his special move, Final Getsuga Tensho. And that wraps it up for Ichigo. And now for Shunsui. Shunsui is a mind attribute character with Squad Zero Killer. His soul trait can be strengthened to full stamina only, increased normal attack damage 40%. He is a melee, normal attack type character whose second strong attack provides a boost, while the rest of his attacks can inflict strain. His innate skills are Sprint plus 1, Guard Break and Paralysis Resistance 100%. Here's a list with the rest of his skills. Now, let's see this character in action. He will inflict great damage in Guild Quest thanks to his skills, Flurry in Guild Quest plus 2, increased melee damage in Guild Quest 30% and increased killer effect in Guild Quest 50%. Plus, as his second strong attack creates a vortex, he will be able to gather enemies to then strike them down with his normal attacks. Also, the effect and duration of the boost on his second strong attack are increased thanks to his skills, enhancer and booster. Finally, he can also be used as a character link in other guild quests thanks to his soul trait, normal attack damage plus 40%, making him an all-rounder in this game mode. Next, let's look more closely at his attacks. Here are the normal attacks. His normal attacks are a string of 4 melee attacks. Now for the strong attacks. His first strong attack surrounds the character and attacks forward. Here is the second strong attack. This attack creates a vortex and provides a boost. Here is the third strong attack. Strong attack 3 deals damage around the character. Finally, his special move, Dark Dive Parasol. <laughs> and that wraps it up for Shunsui. And now for Nanao. Nanao is a technique attribute character with Stern Ritter Killer. 
Her soul trait can be strengthened to speed Link slot portions plus 5. She is a ranged, strong attack type character whose third strong attack can heal, while the rest of her attacks can inflict weaken. Her innate skills are Sprint plus 1, Guard Break and Havoc 20%. Here's a list with the rest of her skills. Now, let's see this character in action. She is suited to farming speed attribute materials, as not only does she have the soul trait Speed Link Slot Potions plus 5, but she also has the skills Speed Link Slot Potions plus 5 and Increased Speed Droplet Drop 30%. Plus, taking her into quests such as Epic Raids with other Technique Attribute Soul Reaper characters will allow your team to inflict higher damage thanks to her skills Team Slash Party, Technique Attribute Character Strong Attack Damage plus 20% and Soul Reaper Resonance Increased Strong Attack Damage plus 10%. Finally, she will be able to support your team slash party in co-op quests and epic raids, thanks to the healing effect on her third strong attack. Next, let's look more closely at her attacks. Here are the normal attacks. Her normal attacks are a string of four ranged attacks. Now for the strong attacks. Strong attack 1 goes forward and pushes the enemies. Here is the second strong attack. Strong attack 2 deals damage straight ahead. Here is the third strong attack. This attack goes full screen and also heals. Finally, a special move Wandering Firefly. Hmm? And that wraps it up for Nanao. And those were the character intros for the 9th Anniversary Celebration Summons. As already mentioned, this summons will be available from the 20th of June, so check it out when it comes out. See you next time. Bye!